and the scar shows what a survivor he is and, and that he can be proud of his scar and thankful for his scar because it's because of that that the doctors were able to save his life. The fifth day after his operation, we were finally able to look at his whole chest without any bandages or anything. And um, I wanted to get a picture of it. So I started taking a picture and at the same time Joe was playing with him and he started smiling and I thought, wow, that's a really cool picture. I was able to capture a picture of him smiling with this big giant scar in his chest. I posted that picture to my Facebook from that. My brother asked if he could post it to some website that he goes on. Within one day, it had had over 200,000 or 300,000 views and then it just kept increasing and increasing and a couple days later it um, a radio station in England found it and posted it to their website and basically after that it got one million likes on Facebook and everyone was sharing it and it's gone crazy since then. I don't even really know quite how it happened. Who is that? Can you say hi? We're just focusing on the fact that because of this attention we can spread this awareness to a national or even world level of just letting people know that heart defects are so much more common than they might think and that there are a lot of little babies like Joey. We're definitely going to explain to him the whole story and explain to him that you know he has that scar because um, he had a boo-boo in his heart and the doctors were able to go in and fix him. We're going to definitely teach him that, that, it's a, that it's a good thing to have. And, you know, because of all this, we're definitely going to have to teach them that chicks dig scars, right? <laughs> <laughs>